welcome to this lecture of highway engineering in this lecture we're going to talk about rigid pavements but before starting this topic I want to thank all of you for appreciating my work in this pavement design series we will be covering only those topics which have been asked previously in gate in this lecture we're not going into the depths but I'll try to give you the short and point-to-point -point information regarding rigid pavements so what are rigid pavements rigid pavements are those top surfaces which are made up of Portland cement concrete and possess very high flexural strength or flexural rigidity generally pavement quality concrete or PQC is used as the most common material for the design and construction of rigid pavements the rigid pavements are constructed in the form of slabs and transmit the wheel load stresses through a much wider area below the pavement slab Considering the long life of CC pavements, they are not laid directly over the soil subgrade. Now, let's talk about the few properties of cement concrete pavements. One of the biggest advantages of cement concrete pavement is they do not get deteriorated under stagnant water, which means that they can be successfully used in wet weather conditions. All right? Also, the maintenance and life cycle cost of cement concrete pavements are much lower than that of flexible pavements. The quantity of aggregates required is less and it provides good night visibility even under wet weather conditions. But at the same time, it is undesirable to install a piping or ducting system if you have already laid your cement concrete pavement. And you have to plan well in advance all the ducting or piping system. Also, you cannot open your rigid pavement immediately after laying because it requires a long time of 28 days for curing. Cement concrete pavements are likely to become too smooth or slippery during the long service life and it is not possible to restore a failed or badly cracked cement concrete pavement. So these were some of the properties of cement concrete pavements. Now let's talk about the components used in cement concrete pavements. So, similar to the flexible pavements, rigid pavements are also constructed in a number of layers. And these layers are, so our lowest layer is our subgrade. Above it, there is a granular subbase or drainage layer. Above it, there is a dry lean concrete subbase layer. And on the top most, there is a pavement quality concrete slab. Cement concrete slab is made up of high quality cement concrete or pavement quality concrete PQC because slab has to withstand flexural stresses caused by moving traffic loads or warping action of the slab due to daily variations in temperatures. Now let's talk about the subgrade of rigid pavements. So subgrade is made up of selected soils of specified requirements and well compacted in layers to the specified density and thickness. Since it is the lowest layer, it ultimately supports all the components and the traffic load. Also, there is no need to consider allowable value of vertical strain on the subgrade because the compressive stress transmitted by the rigid pavement to the top of the subgrade will be very low. And lastly, the strength is calculated by the plate bearing test using large diameter plate. Now, let's talk about the granular subbase or drainage layer. We don't want our subgrade to get deteriorated due to water coming from the shoulders or anywhere else. We want this water to get immediately rinsed off inside the pavement without deteriorating the upper or lower layers. Therefore, we provide a drainage layer which includes crushed stone aggregates with high permeability and coarse aggregates with low percentage of fines will serve as good drainage layer. Basically, a drainage layer is provided to increase the service life and improve the performance of cement concrete pavements, also to prevent the earlier failures of rigid pavements due to pumping and blowing, and to protect the subgrade against frost action in frost susceptible areas. Now, let's talk about the base course. A base course is used to provide support to the topmost layer. Generally, granular base course is used for low traffic areas, whereas dry lean concrete is used for high concrete areas because it provides a uniform support and high value of models of subgrade reaction. Also, it provides excellent working platform for laying the PQC slab, that is pavement quality concrete slab. A separation layer consisting of suitable type of membrane is laid over DLC base course before laying the PQC slab in order to prevent bonding between the two. Now, let's talk about the pavement quality concrete slab. In pavement quality concrete slab, 
M40 cement concrete mix with a minimum flexural strength of 45 kg per cm square is recommended by IRC. Generally, flexural stresses are caused by heavy traffic loads and warping effects due to daily variation in temperature during the 24-hour cycle.